Uh, today we are going to look at some new narrowboats from Bickerstaff Boats in Liverpool. Uh, so if you like narrowboats, or you're thinking of buying one, or you want to uh, look around one with us, uh, stay tuned to this vlog. Even better, click the subscribe button right now, and every time we release a new vlog, uh, you'll get to know about it, and you can join us on our journey as we uh, buy our new narrowboat and move on to the canal full time. Hello. Morning. It's not morning, it's about, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, as you can hear from the seagulls in the background and the gunshots in the distance, <laughs> we're near Liverpool. Near Liverpool. I've just upset every single scouser. Yeah, we have. Uh, today we've come to see uh, Kev and Sue at Bickerstaff Boats. And we've just come for a look round because we're still bunch. undecided whether we're going to get a new boat or a used boat. It all depends on the budget course from the sale of our house so uh, we've come to look at bigger staff boats one because we never got a chance to see them when we went to Crick uh, and two because uh, they do things a bit differently and very different I, would I say. like different I think we're a bit different aren't we and they stand out So we're on Mark's future boat. It's looking very nice. Beautiful. And uh, we're in the galley. Well, this is Sean, first of all, but we're in uh, Mark's galley. And first impressions, it's 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 actually like a, a smaller galley kitchen than than we've seen on, on other boats that we've looked at. It's smaller than most boats. But saying that, everything's kind of in here that we would want. And Obviously, there's, the space is going to be made up somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just it's 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 big enough to cook a meal, which is all you really need it for. Which is what that's your job. Yeah, my job. Sean's the chef. Most important part for me is going to be this uh, the Pullman style dinette. Uh, all of my work once we get on the boat is going to be from my computer, from my Mac, and for me, I mean, this layout is perfect because we've got the side hatch. So, obviously, 90% of the time I'm going to be looking outside the hatch and the other 10% of the time I'm going to be working. Uh, for me, I mean, I would love it if there was another hatch where that window is there. So you've got, like, whichever side you moored on. Do you know what I mean? You can kind of look out on both sides. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm not sure about this. I mean, for me, dinette is a dinette. So we've got a dinette there and then we've got another dinette here. So it's different. It is different, and that's fine, Mark, if that's what you want. <laughs> I prefer something a bit more comfortable though there, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'd prefer a settee. Yeah. Um, I mean, for me, big TV. I can understand why people want smaller TV. I mean, we never watched that much TV when we are on a boat anyway, did we? Hardly. No. And then under there, I think we've got the uh, cassette pull-out, haven't we? We've never had a cassette toilet before. I we? envisage spillages. You know, I think it's only right that we actually test this out, don't you think? I think so. Do you think Mark will mind it? I don't think he'll mind it. That's if the water's switched on. Shall we go for it? Go for it. No. No, I'm not. He's a big star. Here we are in the bedroom. The thing I like about this bedroom is the plastic on here for old men. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Should to do that again? No, we're leaving that in. Come on, back in. We all want to know about your personal problems. Let's start at the very beginning. It was July 2004. <laughs> I mean, standard bedroom, is it? It's like a standard design, really. Uh, four foot bed, is it four foot or four, four foot, foot six? Uh, Four foot by six foot. Sean's like a, a kicker and a oh, jumper, yeah. so yeah, I mean, we definitely need like four foot six for me, the whole the whole width. We did go. We did. I mean, we are looking 
Oh, we did look at cross beds, didn't we? But we didn't know if I was tall enough. Shall we do a test? Yeah. Let's do you're a not gonna, You're not going to fit. Let's, there's only one way to find out. Do you want me, give me a camera. I'll hold the camera. Okay. Shoes off. There we go. So, would I fit in a cross bed? Here we go. So, so if my head's there. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought, this, is, this must be like six foot long. You, you would have thought I would fit, wouldn't you? My head's banging against the yeah, thing. Yeah, but it's wider underneath the gunnels. Yeah, so now there's no way a cross bed for me. So it has to be a long ways bed, wouldn't it? It's quite comfortable, actually. Tell you what would be really good, and I've seen this on one of the boat, it's like uh, the charging, the, like, what are they called? The, wireless. The wireless charging, where you just put your phone on. I'm sure you could run like an electric thing under there and then just kind of put your phone on so it just charges because then like in the night when you want your phone you can just grab it can't you? I think that's a smashing idea. That is a smashing idea isn't it? Say rude word. Bung. <laughs> the only other thing I would change in, uh, in the bedroom is the uh, bungs for the <coughs> bung. Bung! Bung. It's the bungs for the uh, portals for the bedroom. I think even with the blinds, it's still going to be a bit light, isn't it? Yeah, we'd have to put some bones in. Oh! I don't have no gravity with this day. So, another thing we've noticed about these boats at Big Star. Have you finished with your cake? I've finished with my cake now. Is, uh, is the sterns. Uh, we've got the kind of traditional uh, rounded stern on this one, uh, but on the uh, limited edition one, you notice how it's kind of squared off. I'm not sure I get that. I think I'll have to ask Kevin about that. I like it. I think it's quite fetching. 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 It's Fetch. quite nice. <laughs> Fetch. <laughs> so what's the difference between the square stern and the round stern? Right, okay, from obviously without stating the obvious. The reason that we've built a square stand narrowboat, um, ultimately we wanted everything that you'd have in a semi-trad, i.e. the seating area, um, externally with the open deck of a cruiser stand. So it's a bit difficult to see with the covers on, but effectively if you remove the covers, we've now got on a narrowboat a seating area at the back um, for whilst under cruise, under power, you could quite comfortably sit three people there along with the helm who's obviously steering the boat. But whilst you're moored and stationary, we've effectively got an area now on the back of a narrow boat uh, where you could, you could have a meal for six. It, it's, it's our interpretation of get a bit more out of the deck area uh, on ultimately what we built, which is cruiser yeah. backs. Uh, this is the uh, bigger stuff boat that was at Crick in 2018 and we never got a chance to see it. We did go and have a look and try but there was a queue and uh, we didn't get a booking. That's why we've come today because uh, the bigger stuff boats are the boats that we couldn't get to see uh, while we were at Crick. So it's not an advert for them, it's just that we didn't get to see them before. I'll tell you what Sean, I'm loving this. I don't want to have to look back or anything, I, just, I can just see myself looking forward. Yeah, it's just... Glass of Asti. Box of Smarties. I quite like this. Loving this. I've not seen this before, and I, it's probably on a lot of boats. I've just not seen it before. I'm quite liking this. Thing is, we've never liked crew. No, let me get this right. It's not that we don't like cruiser sterns, is no, it? We prefer. We've all, we we had a semi trad before, and we kind of like traditional styling in narrow boats. And so we've never looked at cruiser sterns because we always kind of just uh, dismissed them without even looking at them. But the way this is just done is just liking this.
So we're now on Ted and Judith's boat, which is called... Goldilocks. Goldilocks. That's a nice name, isn't it? It is. Are we two of the three bears? <laughs> <laughs> this is the boat that was at Crick. It is. This 2018. Is this is uh, Goldilocks. This was at Crick. And we didn't get to see it at Crick. Uh, but we just had a, a mooch around. And it's good. It's all right. It's got a lot of the things we like. Didn't you have a shower? Yeah, this is the boat that you saw me having a shower in earlier on. <laughs> so, what do you reckon? Uh, I love it. You lie. I do, I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. The only, there's only two things I would change. Now, that's the problem, because Kev is very passionate about his boats and very passionate about his ideas and his experience. And one thing we've found today is that he's literally immovable when it comes to changes. Yeah. Bickerstaff is not the sort of boat company that you come to and you tell them what you want and they make it. They make a boat and then they sell it. You don't come in and order a boat. They have to make it and then you come and buy it off the shelf. And he's very strict about that. Very strict. <laughs> Walking through this boat, I mean, it is absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. And it is gorgeous. But the second dinette, which is where we're sat at now, doesn't really work for us. And we've kind of conditioned ourselves into wanting a double uh, double bed, i.e. like a pull-out bed. We don't think the four-foot bed is going to be wide enough. The thing is, cross beds don't really work for us. Uh, I'm a bit too tall. And... Uh, yeah, <laughs> I just can't stretch out. You can see I'm just not big enough for a cross bed. Uh, but we like the idea of a bed extension because uh, Sean's a bit of a kicker. He, like, he kind of <laughs> moves about a lot in his sleep. Due to the alcohol. He runs like Dylan. He plays in his sleep. <laughs> so we kind of want a bed extension. So, I mean, those two things don't rule this, this boat or, or any Bickerstaff boat out for us, but... Because Kev's kind of very strict in, in uh, you've got to love the boat before he will sell it to yeah, you. Yeah, that's right. And that's fair enough. And that's fair enough. Uh, it kind of means that this particular boat wouldn't be for us. Not that we wouldn't want to buy a bigger staff boat. We're not saying that either. It's just this particular boat doesn't work for us. This is not the sort of boat company where you come and you start off with a uh, 70 grand basic price and then you've got this list of extras which you order and they kind of fit them to order and you get exactly like a bespoke list of extras. It's not that kind That's of right, company. Yeah. And I think that appeals to some people and it might put some people off. Uh, for us, I don't know. It love, doesn't put me off. It doesn't put us off. We love the boat, but we don't love this boat. Maybe one of his coming boats we might love. We don't know. That's right. So what you might be asking, if you've seen our other vlogs, is uh, to start with, we were talking about a new or a used boat, and then after Crick, we were sat at the side of the car saying, 100% definitely used boat, and we would, in our heads, this is what we have in our heads as our ideal boat. And then uh, in Spain, we were talking, saying, <laughs> yeah, definitely 100% going to be a used boat. But now, a month later, we're here... Uh, near Liverpool talking from a new boat and talking about the possibility of a new boat. So what's changed? Nothing's really changed. I think we're just keeping our minds open. We're keeping our minds open. It's We're going to get the boat we like, whether it be second-hand or brand new. The, the budget has gone up. We're going to earn a little bit more money than we originally thought we would once we're on the boat. The business that, uh, that I run is going to do better than I thought, which has given us a bit of an extra budget. So that's really why a new boat is back uh, back on the shortlist. Hello, 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 
Yeah. Morning. 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 <laughs> it's a secret. Morning. Morning. Uh. Morning. I didn't think you wanted to say it then. You don't order a boat. You, they make it and then they will sell it to someone. <sighs> Sorry. Morning. Morning. Road trip. All right. <laughs> I want you to teach me some scouts. Scouts. Our kid. Our kid. Yeah. Uh, in. In. Morning. It's feet smell. My feet don't smell. Can't say that. Morning. Road trip! <laughs> Yay! I was just going to throw my foot up to your face, but I'm not 19 anymore. I'd probably snap off at my knee. Boom, lay boom. Schwa, have it, quoi. C'est swa. You're insane. That looked terrible. <laughs> just... I didn't know I was going to be on, shot on camera. Face or is it just trouble. following me? Right, you're following me. What was that? I'm married to a crazy man. Did you notice I didn't repeat it? In all my other vlogs, Sean says something and I just repeat what he says. Have you noticed that? No, I noticed that. No, you didn't notice that. <laughs> <laughs> it's doing it again. It's doing it again. Are you ready for this? You're not normal. <laughs> Willy. Oh, no! That is so gross! Oh! I need to go wash my ear. <laughs> <laughs>